Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to use the rebar tool in the arch workbench. I'm just taking a little bit of a break from the park design workbench because I'm not sure what to do next. So um, I wanted to try this out because I had seen it come onto the scene about a year or two ago. I can't remember. Um, and I'm just going to warn you, it's a little bit fragile still. It's easy to break mid-process. not sure if that's because I'm using the daily build or whatnot. But let me first tell you a little bit about what it is. So this uh, object right here is considered a structure in the arch workbench. And that allows, um, and that's, the rebar items are based on the structure. Each rebar item is based on a sketch. That's the prototype for the rebar. As you can see, you know, the rebar is embedded. And what the tool does is it take, takes the sketch and then embeds rebar. And then you can uh, give it the count of the rebar and it will duplicate it for you so you don't have to do any arrays. So you see I have two prototypes, the vertical and the, um, I'm not, I forget what this is called. I did look it up, uh, but I've already forgotten. So the, uh, these can be modified, but what I did notice is that, um, you know, if you do much work on the sketch at all, uh, it breaks and doesn't generate the, uh, generate the rebar. And after the rebar has been initially created, if you add any edges, uh, it doesn't update the rebar. So keep the sketches as simple as possible with, and do the least amount of editing as possible. So let's try to do one with uh, that being said. And there's a good chance this will fail. So I'm gonna go right into the arch workbench. We're gonna do it off right from the arch workbench. Um, my view is set to the top and I'm gonna set my working plane to match that. Um, because it confuses me when uh, the auto the auto plane changes. So um, I'm going to start out using the polyline tool and I'm going to go create corners first. So first we're going to create the structure. So this is what the, um, and just for fun I'm going to do give it a radius of a random amount. So you can see that the draft tool adds a radius to this wire. Um, so that's just a little bonus right there. So we're going to create the structure out of this. So what, keep in mind, the structure is not a structure in the sense that it's um, your house is a structure, but more of a structural component from what I can understand. So with the structure, um, you can now cre add the rebar. So you can only add rebar to a structure. Um, you can't add it to like just a cube or a box or, or, or just some random shape from FreeCAD. It's got to be a structure. So now when I click the rebar, it goes into the sketch mode and it asks me how I want to attach it. I'm just going to pick flat face and you'll see we've gotten a rotated view. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the polyline tool and I'm going to do uh, create four lines. So this is going to be the path of my rebar and we're just going to let, let it use the horizontal vertical constraints. I'm not going to attach that last one. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that tool and then I'm going to use the fillet tool or fillet or I'm not sure and we're going to change these corners. Now, the last time I did this, it removed this line. And the other thing is I used to, I was doing it with this, with the rectangle tool, but whenever I've select the, the uh, uh, coincident, it would crash the sketcher editor. So, like I said, keep your lines very simple and try not to do any editing. So that's a successful rebar. If it fails, you'll get stuck in the sketcher editor and you might have to use the leave sketch and I'll try to show you that. So we now have a rebar but you can't see it. So what I'm going to go is I'm going to go into to my structure. So let's consider this a cement, uh, cement pillar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do view and we're going to set the visibility or set the uh, transparency to, uh, to like to 75. So now you can see that there is in fact rebar embedded in that in that structure. And you know, the first thing you might say is, well, I want rebar all the way through. And uh, it's non-obvious um, if, you, if you don't realize that about properties uh, that you can add them. Uh, the first thing I tried was, was a draft array and then I realized, oh wow, you can just change it right here. So that's, that's great. So it will automatically place the number of rebar and evenly space them within that shape. So if you've used draft array, you understand that's a good bit of work done for you. So now I want to add the vertical rebar. So I'm going to pick this face. So I want to add the uh, four corners and we'll add the rebar here. And again, we'll just leave it at flat face the same way. So now we've got a view that, that uh, is useful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a single line and it's going to go from the bottom to the top. And 
uh, like I said, I'm not an architect or a builder or anything, so I'm just kind of giving you a sample that you can use to make a to make a real version of this. So I do a single line and I hit close, and you can see it's added that rebar. and And in my case, you see they're not they're not aligned up lined up very well. Um, but we'll try to go into the sketch and change it to see what and see how we can fix that. So the first thing you, you want to do is these, these, this vertical rebar piece, which has a particular name, which I've forgotten already. But we do want, we want two of these. So I'm going to do two. And you'll see it's going to add it in the correct position away from that wall. So we can change that by, let's see, it's the, there's an offset. So if, if you change the offset of the end, let's try to change both of them just to see what it looks like. Chain it, put that 60. You can see that it's moved that rebar in and that one in too. Now, if you know draft draft array, you'll know that that's just uh, the distance value in the array. So, but you know, having it in one place and not having to navigate two different things are great. Now, if you do need the draft, like one thing you might need a draft array for is in create instead of creating a second line. And that's and one, something that's important to remember is each sketch can only have one edge. Um, so I can't do a second edge here. It won't, it won't pick that up. It'll only pick up the first edge. So if I wanted to create a second column of these um, without, uh, without using the rebar tool again, um, I could do the draft array. So I'm going to do a draft array, and I'm going to pick the Y interval. And I'm going to say, I made this two foot wide, so let's just say, uh, I don't know, 20, 22 inches. Sorry for you, uh, metric folk. Too far, so let's do 21 inches. And again, uh, let's see if that's, nope, still too far. So let's make it, uh, let's say, 19 inches. So, you know, this is probably terrible. Like builders are probably cringing as I'm doing this. So don't, you know, like I said, this is just to show you how to use this tool. Um, so you can see I have, now I have my rebar. So any changes in this sketch will, or any changes to the rebar or the sketch will be reflected all four though. So let's make a change. Let's go to the, the um, diameter and let's, let's triple it. So we'll do 18 millimeter. So you see now all my all my four corners are are properly adjusted, uh, and let's do the final thing is let's edit this sketch so that those pieces are closer to, uh, to this. Now hopefully it doesn't crash because it was crashing a lot whenever I touched anything besides uh, touched anything. Um, so if it does crash uh, and you you'll lo you might lose this area here, but you can still get out of the sketch by doing sketch leave sketch. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, so that's, you know, that gives a fair representation of of, um, of your rebar. And from what I understand, the news the news that came out yesterday is that you can now do, uh, now rebar is included in bill of materials. And that's something maybe I'll cover eventually. But uh, I hope this helps. I hope this helps you get past the, the learning curve for rebar because there's a little bit of one. Um, just keep it simple and, and don't make a lot of changes to your sketch and one edge. Uh, well, I think that's it and I hope you like these videos. I'm, I'll keep making them. Please subscribe and uh, click on the alarm bell if you want to be notified. Have a great day.